skeptic a diehard skeptic yeah yeah mainly because i hadn't any experiences and uh cut a long story short i met my wife and on our first night of being together she said we i have something that resides here and i laughed it off didn't really think too much about it really yeah. and that first night that i was there i was woken at possibly what four in the morning three in the morning um to what could only be described as world war Two type music um, I believe it's be the Jitterbug, but don't quote me on that because I don't really know my World War II music very much. And I thought it was some funky alarm clock she had. And in the morning, I said, that's a pretty cool alarm clock because it was loud. It's pretty loud. No, nope, that's, that's not an alarm clock. I don't have anything like that sort of thing. And like I said, I didn't turn, like, believe straight away. I just sort of yeah, passed yeah. off as a bit weird. Okay, no worries. Um, but more incidences were happening, such as, like, these static clicks and stuff and um, we could communicate with this entity by the dimmer lights with dimmer switches, you know, up for yes down for no, and the lights would go up and they go down quite subtly um, I was trying to think when it came to a head, the real big one, I guess the photo is the big one that made yeah, me yeah. go right, you know um, yeah, something else I'm trying to remember as well, I mean, there's so many events I've gone through, but we didn't. I didn't really think about cataloguing it at the time, because, well, I, I wasn't ever going to go on social media, I'm not on Facebook or anything like that, you know, we, we were very anti-social media, it is certainly, like, while looking for answers, that when I was taxi driving, I followed certain paranormal channels, um, and I only came onto YouTube to do a rant video, and, and that was that. But it led to more. People demanded more. Um, but yeah, I, I mean, uh, it's on the top of my brain, but I can't pull it out because there's just so many incidences yeah, yeah. that have happened. Um, yeah, we... we uh, it's fuck loads. But your mind's gone blank. I should have had a written it all down, shouldn't I? Oh, 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 oh. Mm. You've seen the picture, I take it. I sent you an email on that. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, it, it's mad. But I, after a while, it sort of faded out as well. It didn't uh, last forever. It just sort of got less and gradual and gradual. Um, but then again, since getting hold of a spirit box, I, I mean, at the time, I didn't really know what a spirit box was. I thought it was some sort of yeah, expensive piece of kit. I didn't realise it was just a broken radio, if you like. Yeah, yeah. Um, when I tried using it, bearing in mind that all this activity has sort of died out for a, around half a year to a year, that sort of area. Um, or maybe more, actually. Hang on, I read about dates and times and that. Um, da, da, da. Yeah, it took me three months to, to get anything. I thought it was going to be really easy. I thought I'm going to get loads of contact really easy because of what we had. Now, I could say if I got a spirit box earlier, I'd love to know what results I'd have got. But, yeah, yeah. I, mean, I sent you the montage of the, the contacts I've had in that house, you know, the, the devil and all that crap. I don't know if you watched that montage at all, but I, but I sent it across. Um, yeah, um, but it took me three months to get anything to, to come back. But I would concrete say, OK, something of intelligence is answering back, you know. Um, I've been sang a Christmas carol of Silent Night while on the toilet. That is a very surreal one, um, but I bring up quite a lot. Uh, it was 2016 uh, Christmas, so you've got um, midnight, Christmas Eve, stroke day, dead on midnight if that makes sense. I go to the toilet and I hear this Christmas carol song, Silent Night, Silent Night, Holy Night. And it's being sung in a sort of very weird metallic, I want to say spooky or weird, but a bit different. And I thought, huh, Christmas carolers. I thought, hang on a minute, it's, it's like midnight, why would we have Christmas carolers at midnight? In fact, we've never, ever had Christmas carolers full stop. So, what? So, <laughs> I walked off the toilet with my boxes 
sort of half down and still trying to sort of follow the noise. And I stop and I realise it's not coming from the door. It's like coming from above me in the air. So I listen really intently. And after about, what, we'll say the sixth line of the song, it just stops. Yeah, and yeah. I realised how loud it was because it's so deafeningly silent. You could hear the fridge in the kitchen downstairs humming, you know? And that was that was a weird time. Um, uh, what do we call it? Resistance as well, synthesis. Because um, I mistakenly said when we were do- when we were getting contact using the dimmer lights up and down, yeah, I mistakenly yeah. said the last thing was, "I wonder what it's like to be a ghost." You know, I wonder what it's like. And then that night I had sleep paralysis, and it did this weird little rhyme at me. This is a joke. This is how it goes. This is how it feels to be a ghost. And it's all like you're in a wind tunnel. It's really bizarre. Um, uh, things moved. I've had my daughter attacked by something. I don't think it was that entity that was there. Uh, where my and that put my wife under. That was a, a quite a horrific one actually. But that's that's only ever happened. One nasty attack has only ever happened. Yeah. Um, and the stepson came in. I was working at the time, but the stepson came in and saved saved the day, if you like. And Natalie, my wife, I should phone. She says I have no memory. It wasn't like I was asleep. It was just nothing. You know, like nothing. You know. Um, I don't like to talk about it a lot because you know it, it wasn't very nice, really. Uh, on, video, uh, on a swing, waving at nothing, and then on the video, there's a metallic voice go cooey. Uh, her first words weren't. Um, you know, mummy or daddy, they're Harry, blah, 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 Harry this, blah, 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 Harry that. Who the hell's Harry? I, I don't know any Harry. Well, I guess that Harry is the one that's saying cooey to her on a swing. She's waving at nothing. She has no memory of it now. But, you know, it's, no, it's just so many events. But like I said, I was a diehard skeptic and I fell into it, I guess, by accident. If I didn't have a wife and, you know, the activity that went around me, because at first... I thought I was either going mad or losing my mind or something. Like, shit, is, is this actually happening? You know, mm-hmm. uh, things like putting the butter in the freaking refrigerator. And I know I've done this. I'm not fucking, you know. But I go to go to bed and there's this cold plastic thing under the doozy. What the hell is the butter? What? Well, I never saw it float past me. You know what I mean? It's just like, what? You know? Um, oh, shit. Well, the picture, like I said, that, that picture. Um, like I said, he used to get static clicks. He's clicks. He used to yeah, yeah. So I didn't have a spirit box set back then. It's like the dimmer lights up, dimmer lights down for yes no questions. Um, <coughs> but you'd hear like a click, like a static click, and some yeah. some of them are quite loud, some of them aren't. Um, and one usually when you take photos, like if you're using your phone or whatever, you hear a click, take a photo in that direction, you get little orbs, you know, like, yeah, yeah. yeah you've seen orbs, uh, and obviously don't mistake them for light ref- refraction, you know, you know what a real orb is like. Um, but this time it clicks really loud, took a photo, we didn't see that thing in front of us, that black silhouette of a man with a hat, whatever it is. We didn't see that with our own eyes, that's just what came up on the phone, if that makes sense. We were watching the news in ten, whatever it was, and this massive click went off. Oh, take a photo, let's see if we get an orb. No, don't get an orb, a big black mass that's floating that looks about six foot, if you like. What the fuck? You know, I, I made us crap ourselves a little bit. Um, yeah, so much. Like I said, I only went to YouTube to have a rant, because so I was looking for answers, you know, like I say, diehard skeptic, didn't believe in this sort of thing, realised, yeah, something exists, so I didn't want to call it a ghost or, or whatever, or a dead person, because yeah. I don't know what it is, it, it's just something of intelligence that we can't see very easily. It does have the ability to talk, like open air speak, but it's very it's, uh, it's, it's very loud when it happens, the silent night thing was really, you know, it's not quiet, but it's not very often, it's like... We'll say once every two years, once every year, maybe, if you're lucky. And it's, that silent night was the longest open air speak I've heard. That was like, say, six lines of the song, thereabouts. Um, but yeah, I mean, I was following certain channels there like Mortis the Wizard, Huff Paranormal, um, oh, Lord, Lord. Priestess, uh, who else was there? Solo Ghost Hunter, who's changed name, doesn't really do it anymore. And a few others, because we were looking for answers. That's when I come across the spirit box, you know? This, yeah, this yeah. mythical device that's you know some sort of specialized equipment you know wow a thing that talks to the dead it's not dead i don't know but so yeah i followed <laughs> up and it was good legit and then after a while he changed and this, this really angered me because people like me who who are diehard skeptics right don't believe in this that's more ammunition to throw us if i found huff after he was taking rather than before being legit 
you know, that would have turned me even worse away to not believe this stuff exists, you know? But it does exist. It's just not a regular thing. Like I say, in my whole life, I've never really had anything that made me go, oh, shit, was that a ghost or was that whatever? You know? But, yeah, I move into this property with a new girlfriend, now married wife, you know, with all the, these things going on that, uh, you know, making you question if, if you're actually seeing this with your own eyes or, or have you got something wrong with you, you know, question your whole belief system, you know, well, if this exists, does that mean God exists? Does that mean hell exists? Does that, what, what does that mean? You know, you start thinking, oh, shit, you know, what, you know, it really can put a toll on your mental state of mind about what, what is what in, in the Riley, Riley. universe, you know, you get very deep and silly, especially Riley, if you Riley. or something, you know what I mean? Or a drink yeah, or whatever, yeah. you know? Um, Riley, Riley, Riley. Yes, mate. Yeah, so Say that again, Steve, you're cutting out real bad. Hey, mate. Hey, mate. Might be one word at a time, Job. Speed up. Speed up. Right. 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 You have to open. open. It's so it's clean. So clean. No. Bring your finger back on that. But I do believe not. No, just hang out. Yeah, it's yeah, a big Oh, is it? Oh, yeah. No, no, I think I've lost. Hang on a minute. No, I've lost you, so to say. Hang on. No, I'm back in. There you go. Um, yeah, no idea. Oh. But you, oh, you sound better now, so I don't know. That, that's about it, really. Like I said, I did. I just come to YouTube because I wasn't doing social media, nor was my wife, and we're still not on Facebook or anything. That fan page is not run by me, so if anyone wants to like get hold of me, you won't get hold of me there. That's just some very kind person who's running it and doing the whole lot for me. Um, but yeah, I, I mean, like I say, you know, it was meant, I just did one rant video because you know, have paranormal. I take this like really seriously because it's flipped my whole life in terms of like what is what belief you know religion and stuff like that i mean I'm, I'm not a christian per se but it's got me thinking you know they they call themselves dead they say dead all the time they, they've said the devil I, like a montage you know but if, if you're new to my channel or not you know i've done a montage of most of my best captures not all but most you know and there is clearly something of intelligence that is answering back whatever it is you know and it's calling itself the devil. It says it's dead. It needs help sometimes, but doesn't tell you how to help it. And, you know, no matter how many times you ask, what do I do? You know, so where is this coming from? It, it, you know, and, and uh, so it's a good thing on my part about being a skeptic. I, I can at least eradicate paradox. I keep looking at it because a lot of people say I go too harsh for my sessions. Like, oh, Riley, really got loads of stuff in that one. Like, I really don't think I did. You know, I could you know, force a word into that, but nah, you know, I'm really thorough in terms of what I put down, yeah, there's definitely contacts happening here where it's, you know, something of intelligence is clearly interacting, answering me back. And that's why I keep asking for swear words and stuff, because swear words can't be broadcasted on the radio, you know? So if you're getting something saying, I'm not going to say swear words now because you get them monetized, but you get the hint. If that comes through your, your, you know, your session, nice and clear as well, well, that's something, isn't it? You know, you can't broadcast that. You know, unless a DJ's having a bad day and he's going to get fired that day, what are the odds of that happening? You know? So, but yeah, that, that's... It's a bit of a bit of a... Provocation. Provocation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. It's a bit of a bit of a... Do you have a question? Oh, but validation. Is that what you're saying? Sorry, it's really bad. Um, validation... Uh, um, that's a bit of a bit of a... It's cut out so bad. Oh no! Somebody, somebody, say what you just said because it's not it's not coming through on my end. I think I've heard. Um, no, I didn't come out at all. Oh, okay. oh, the, chat the chat room. Yeah, 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 yeah. I, I can't see the chat room. Oh, oh, oh shit. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Uh, oh, okay. what, what did he just say? What did he just say? Well, I just said, 
What kind of communication do I get with the spirit? Is that what you said? No, no. What I'm hearing is this. Blub, blub, blub. Steve, say what he's just said to me, because you're, you're a bit clearer for some weird reason. Do one word at a time, because it cuts out every other word. Do you propagate? Do I propagate? Proper case. Proper case. Do I... Provoke. 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 Right, got pro okay, yeah, yeah. Yes, got it. Yes, sometimes. I know you yeah, should yeah. really. I'm so sorry. I, 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 what, 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 can the chat room hear him all right? Or is it just my... Right, yeah, do I provoke? Yes. So it depends. I start off not, you know, just asking anybody, yeah, yeah, la, 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 you know, going through the motions. But, you know, if I get a bit frustrating, yeah, I start, like, provoking in a way. But I, I do ask him to... to to swear at me, you know, yeah, say something yeah. bad about me. <laughs> call, me a, call me a dickhead, please. You know, call me it, call me it. You know, I, I do encourage it. Um, yeah, yeah. You know, like I did a parody session, uh, ripping the piss out of these viral YouTubers like Huff, like somebody else, and somebody else, and somebody else, uh, and all the rest of them. And in this parody, it's not that old either, where I'm, you know, just taking the mick, really, but I turn on the spirit box. And yeah, the first yeah. word that comes through <laughs> is twat. Literally, it's clear as day. Twat. You know? All right. Uh, yeah, thank you. Thank you. I mean, I, I hope they knew I was parodying, but I was really glad, you know, I, I wasn't intending to get anything on there whatsoever because I wasn't even trying. It's just, I was ripping the piss out of, you know, certain yeah, yeah. YouTubers and, and the way they do their things. Hello, fam. And, you know, the, the cliche clone of the, you know, Omar Goshes and, and, and the likes, you know? So, yeah, but to turn on the box and get the word twat straight out, that's not an, a, a word that is broadcast. I never heard, I don't, I mean, I spent a lot of time listening to radio as a taxi driver, you know, to keep myself entertained for those long waits, you know, waiting for a fare. So I'm really sure about, you know, what is broadcast, what programs are on at what time between BBC yeah, yeah. 4 and 3, Radio 2 and 1. And, and I think it's going to be So I'm quite to... I think it's going to be a good station. Podcast, podcast, boom, 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 yeah, yeah, I mean, yeah. You are going to get a few um, not so bad word, but certain yeah, words, yeah. You know what I mean. But it's it's very unlikely you're going to get the C word. You, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, I don't yeah, think yeah. I've ever heard that broadcasted before, even in just reference or context in a story from the Archers on Radio Four. No, not, you know what I mean. But, Do you uh, you uh, provoke your? Do you like? Do you like provoke? You think? You think? You think you provoke um, I don't provoke them in a certain way, like saying, like I don't know. Uh, you're, you're you're stuck in hell. Fuck you. Uh, not not really. It's more just it's more asking them to to hit me, to to swear at me, to insult me rather than me insult them. But then I do come out with certain trigger words like um, you know, uh, okay, who needs help? If you ask about the help, that sometimes raises something. If you need help, say help me. And that you get that not all the time, but that seems to raise and say help me. But my wife thinks it's a little bit tight because you're saying if you need help, help me, but you can't help them. They don't tell you what to do for starters. And secondly, I don't think you've got that power. Is that up to the big man, woman, it, whatever it is in the sky? Shit, say that again. <laughs> Resist. 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 Residual. Yeah, yeah. 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 You got no need. Yeah, I'm glad you can hear me because you couldn't hear me earlier, could you? For some reason. I bet what I'm hearing now is how you were hearing me. Just cuts out every other bloody word. Like, ah, shit. It says, I need to 
Yeah, yeah, restart if you want, I don't mind. Are they having problems hearing you or hearing me? It's set. It's set. It's set. It's set. It's It's cutting out every, every other word. So good. So good. Stop the whole thing. Stop the whole thing. I'm the little bit more. Uh, you could, you could try, try a different, different, different. Sorry. Sorry. You could try, you could try to see if it's different. different. Try that. Alright, sorry. I don't believe you. Restart the whole thing. Hmm. Like, like, a little bit of moaning, moaning, back, 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 Audio, etc. Really. Hang on. Hang on. I'll, 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 I'll hang on. Hang on. Get it. I, I, if I end, I end this. this up up here, 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 here. Um, um, I go out. I go out. Go out. You go out and come back. Yeah. 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 That might work. Yeah. All right. Okay. Steve, talk to me so I can hear you. See if what you're saying. Hello. Yes. Yes. I'm getting Yeah, it's cutting out every. Oh, there. Yeah, when, yeah, when, you're, when, we, when talk we talk to you, we've got a lot of You got you got. Oh. Hang on. Let me turn my microphone off while you talk back to me. That might work, something like that. Right, hello. Yeah, you've got your microphone on. It's on. It's on. Right, no, no. Right, hello, hello, hello. Yeah, it's yeah, back. It's back. That's my mic. Is that not better? Hello? I can't hear anything at all, right? Yeah, I think when you've got his mic, 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 mic on. on. Yeah. When, when, we ask, ask, when I put my mic on. Get, get get the hey, I've got an idea. Stay here, guys. I'm going to get a speaker. Stay here, and I'll move you away from the phone with the speaker. Yeah? Stay oh, there. Oh, yeah. idea. Well, that's well, technology for you. Yeah. It's, too it's too long. long. <laughs> you sound very good. You're right. You're right. I can't hear what it is. Stop, 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 uh, so he's going to hear me, right? <laughs> you can hear me now, I think. Yeah. You should be able to hear me. That's better, yeah. Can you hear me perfectly, Al? Just about. Yeah, yeah that's, that's better. It's certainly better. That's it's brilliant. That's great. 75% better. So, yeah. Kieran, I mean, um, Kieran, you, can you talk there, Kieran? Say you sound. Can I say? Can I talk, you say? Test. 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 Actually, I'm going to take back. 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 I'm going it's just, mate, yeah. it's just it got the sound got distorted and just the whole thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was talking to uh, Steve and John from um, 
Black Country Paranormal Seekers, weren't that's right. And Kieran was there as well on Steve's show last night. Yeah. Yeah. It's so bloody annoying. Yeah. Well, anyway, I'm glad we're on track near each other. Anyway, brilliant. Did, every, did everyone in chat actually catch what I said? Because I really don't want to go through what I can and say it again. The whole <laughs> really? thing. Everyone was complaining that the feedback was like about eight people left because they couldn't understand and it's given them headaches. Oh, <laughs> shit. One person said, I've got to take my headphones out before my ears bleed. Oh. <laughs> Just seen that now, yeah. Well, now you know what to do. When I invite you on mine, if you want to come on mine one day, Riley. Yeah. Yeah. Not actually. Just works anyway. Thanks. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I have to kick off. Yes, we fixed it. Parent. Yeah. Purgatory oh. Paranormal of New York. We fixed it. I was seriously actually going to say, guys, I can't do this anymore. <laughs> My head is splitting. I've got to go. But now it's fixed. I can stay. Uh, right, cool. Far away, guys. Far away. Brilliant. Thanks. I'll strangle you, Riley. I'll strangle you. You've done that on purpose, didn't you? Oh, yeah, yeah. Sabotage everything. <laughs> uh, so we were talking about provoking. Um, yeah, that's right. How do, you, do you actually provoke them, or you just be like yourself? Like, you know, sometimes I like to say, right, come you lazy ass. You know, fucking do something. Prove yeah. you around, you know. If you don't, then, you know, what's the point of you being here? You're getting free rent here. You know, come on, get and do something. You know, that yeah. is really provoking for everything. That's been like that. sarcastic, yeah, being funny. That's not massively provoking it. That's sort of, uh, I mean, what's the right word? Just, just be, um, just well, really encouraging. Start Gentle that's encouragement. It. When you, you know, when you say provoking, like, um, talk about how, well, you don't know if they're dead, do you? But, you know, uh, really insulting them that's not really you know i mean yeah but if you want to call it provoking a very low level of pro provocation as opposed to going all out you know fucking winds them right up or whatever but that's again that's only if i i don't you know can't seem to get anything one thing I, i've learned about this is it's not constant you know you know um i do miss the old house because i did get a lot more in there and when i come to this new house where i'm at now i thought my channel might be dead in, in this part um, because, you know, am I actually going to get anything? I ha But then again, I've got one of my best captures here. You know, I asked an entity, what are you? Are you just dead? You know, I didn't ask him, you know, uh, who are you? I asked him, what are, what are you? Are you, you know, are you just dead? And it says, I'm the devil's angel. Really damn clear. I don't know if you see, heard that one. That fucking blew me. I said, you're the devil's what? And it laughed, you know, it laughed at that. Uh, and that was in this house, so I thought, great, you know, that's good, because I didn't want to move from a property that has had stuff, even though it had faded out anyway, really, before I even bothered. Well, they, they can swarm to be mischievous as well, can't they? Oh, yeah, 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 definitely. <laughs> like, like, well, like the parody yeah, track. Creepy, that is. Talk, that. That's that's on that, on that parody video. That. Yeah. yeah, that freaked me out, that weird word, that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, they're mischievous the bog, is they? <laughs> so they can say that they're the devil, they can say who they want, you know, Bill's and Bob's bit next best friend, or, you know. <laughs> yeah. And that's, of course, that's intelligence, but it's been just been there, but sort of mischievous. And I mean, not a lot of them all, not all evil, are they? You know, no, no. This is it. I mean, you know, they say they're dead a lot, don't they? They like to say they're dead, I'm dead, 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 dead. Like, yeah. obsessed with it. It's like we're in a constant cycle of yeah. Yeah. just you know i'm dead it's really weird it's like you, you, i know i mean again i don't like saying you know are they dead people or are they not because we don't really know we, we assume they are because they say they're dead so if you say you're dead does that is that true yeah. you know or, or what the hell are you you know i mean that that one that talked back said i'm the devil's angel yeah. Yeah. if you try and read between the lines that sounds like he's not a dead person, whatever it was that was talking yeah. to, was something more than that, you know, some sort of entity that doesn't live on this planet. Well, some people, people you know, some people don't really think we're talking to dead people, some people think we're talking to aliens, yeah. And you, I thought, or you something from another yeah, dimension, that's true. That's true. Yeah. yeah, you've, you've gone on that before, haven't you, Steve? I remember you saying about that a long time ago, yeah. A lot, a lot of people do think that, um, yeah. I've never heard anything that maybe think maybe aliens, um, but what, what the hell is an alien? It's just something that isn't. From here is it you know that's all an alien means it doesn't have to have you know the typical gray does it you know plant life could be bloody alien if it's not a different planet even but i it's, it's difficult to get your head around because you know it's very easy to um read between the lines and put things together you know or that fits you know um uh, but yeah I, I some of the replies i've had do do make me really think i had a live stream a while ago I, again that's on that montage video where i was getting lots of 
good contacts. And this is over a period of like over a few hours or whatever. Uh, you know, and you know, the devil really clear. What, why did you suddenly just say that? The devil is just like, what? Um, and, and Jesus as well was the thing. I said, I'll sit here streaming games, playing stuff, talking about, and I paused just, just to like think what to talk about. And it went, Jesus. Yeah, we'll talk about Jesus spirit. Thank you. Yeah. What? <laughs> you know, <laughs> the fuck? You know, yeah, it's odd. It is odd. I mean, I can't get my head around it sometimes. It, 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 can, it can drive you insane. Like I say, coming from someone who was really, really skeptical about this stuff. Um, but I've got to say, I'm going for a really big dry patch at the moment, not really picking up much evidence. Nothing you know, stands out. The, the only yeah. thing I've really picked up lately, uh, hence my last video, is, is the contacts returning now because. That bloody dinosaur. That's that's another one that happened, right? That dinosaur. It, it was just a toy my my uh, daughter had. Didn't think nothing of it. And basically, I had a spirit box, uh, the SB7, and um, I wasn't getting anything on it. It took me months to get anything. I was just fiddling around with it, and accidentally I discovered what Furtless, my my subs had dubbed magnitude mode. Basically, what it does, it cuts out all of that white noise from your SB7. Right, and it, it's to boxes. totally quiet. Gets rid of it all, and like, and all you do is hit two buttons together at the same time, and it sets it off. But I didn't. Every time I did this, I thought, oh, I booted up wrong. It's cheap Chinese rubbish. You know, didn't think much of it. But a voice come out of it. I was like, hello, like stick it to my ear, like a phone, like what? And then the dinosaur on its own went off. It said M at the time, not Q. It said M or L or something like that. I like, is that you? Like talking in here, L on the oh, okay. Well, it's coincidence, right? Coincidence. So take a thing upstairs. I try and do a session, and you know I'm starting to get things coming through. It's magnitude mode as it's dubbed. It was called the hush mode originally. It's like a godsend because I'm getting quite a few things coming through. Really pleased with myself that night because I got what you know I I found to be I think something's really trying here. And I the dinosaur was quiet for quite a long time, right? So I so at the end of the night when me and my wife go to bed, I forget to turn off the dinosaur. I leave it on by accident. Doesn't go off throughout the whole night, totally silent. I wake up in the morning, and uh, I say, morning that, or, or she says morning to me first, I can't remember, and I say morning to her, and then the dinosaur says, in a deep fucking voice, or a sound comes from it, in a deep voice, good morning. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. What? You know, <laughs> I've never had that happen again, it's only happened the once, and we both lose each other. What the fuck? Uh, you know. Have you tried to... Um... Baby monitors, because I've got two no, babies. No, but I want to. And uh, the first time I ever bought a baby monitor as a test run here, I connected it all up, and it was probably within about two, three minutes turning it on. Yeah. I went, anyone there? And all of a sudden, I hear this woman goes, who's that? I went, who are you? She goes, no, who are you? Excuse me. Um, who are you? She goes, <clears throat> and she gave me an, I can't remember her name, but she gave me a name. I said, uh, Excuse me, love, I think you're on a secure system. Uh, I think you need to turn your light off. <laughs> and I think what happened is that someone must have had the same or similar kind of baby yeah, yeah. I had, and it's on the same frequency. Yeah, really thought, what the hell? You know, like I, that. I, I, I think I scared the shit out of her, I tell you, to be honest. Yeah, yeah. No, I know this is, this is the thing. We had discussed this on my uh, community a good few months back with. Um... What's his name? Austin Paranormal? Rob? Uh, definitely on those who get Austin Paranormal. He's a really brave guy. I mean, he doesn't do it anymore because he's not allowed anymore. It's this dilapidated lake house with all sorts of paranormal activity. Even vandals don't go in there because it's so freaking freaky. Really? Uh, he goes in there on his own. You know, no, no one else. He's like a 50-year-old guy. You know, well, uh, if, Sorry, Rob, if you're watching this and you're younger than that, I'm really sorry. Or if you're older than that, I hope you're... Uh, Happy my point is, he goes to his house like brave as hell. I, I couldn't do it going there. I mean, I, I'm okay going in cemeteries on my own and stuff, but where he goes is a little bit out of my comfort zone without somebody else. With me. I do it with two people, but not on my own. But anyway, he, he goes in now on his own, picks all sorts of EVPs and stuff. But we were, the point is, we were discussing on, on my community true speakers or whatever but about baby monitors and like, yes and no. They, you know, it, it's interesting to try and experiment, but there's a lot of things that can. You know, you think of paranormal or not paranormal because of such like like the thing you've just dis discussed there, Steve. You know, you you could have thought what you know, and then as you said, you realize it's just, it's just too clear for to come through. You know, like you know, mm. hello, hit hello back, and you say hello, and it goes hello. Yeah, yeah, I must have made you. Know, it, 
it, yeah, it's just yeah. like you, it really did sound like someone in another room. Yeah, I think yeah. it, well, it might have been either because when I first moved in, all the units down the bottom of my flat, because you've got like four flats in each unit, you've got like three units, but you don't count the bottom ones because they were never ever like um, available to anyone at the moment because I was still like furnishing them, in, furnishing them out and everything. Yeah, so whoever had the monitor must have been quite close yeah yeah, yeah. Uh, it could have been someone in one of the uh, flats above me you know because i got two above me i don't think it would have been a chinese lady because i you know would have uh, understand the language yeah. but you've got like um another two kind of units which have four flats in each unit so i'm thinking yeah. it might have just been someone there with a baby monitor probably mm. bought the same monitor you know yeah, yeah. i must oh, well, i must have scared really the hell out of her you know, so i never heard a voice again the drive through you can use them to mess them out with them. They were on similar uh, wavelengths, don't they, in that as well? So, I don't know if you watch um, Living Dead Paranormal, but they use baby monitors quite a lot, and they, yeah, they get a lot of stuff with their baby monitors. Yeah, I, I, uh, I have been interested in trying one. Um, I'm gonna have to look at what Rob posted there. I can't, I can't bring it up. I wish he was in the chat room because it, you know, you, there, there's lots of things against them, but at the same time, you know, yeah. I'd still be curious to. Yeah, just see, like I say, with, with what I've got the paranormal now, I've lost since moving from that property uh, and going through like a dry spot, it does get a bit demotivating at times. I know, it, you know, that is part of the package, you know, and I've always been true to myself. I always upload a session, no matter how good or bad, and be honest about it. You know, there's nothing there or there's something there. And a lot of people do say, you've been too harsh with yourself. There's definitely something there, definitely, definitely. Like, I, I don't think there is. I think you're trying to, like, really read into it too deep or whatever you know you've got to watch out for that damn pareidolia it is a yeah you know, a big pit yeah. of the spirit box unfortunately it really really is um and sometimes it's like you you, some, you know you ever have these sessions where you know there's something there it's not really coming, but they're in the background they're like really far back you can yeah. hear the words are correct and they're not pareidolia like but they're like in the background i don't i've always said there's conditions i think there has to be conditions i don't know if it's like Oh, where the moon is in phase, or bloody Halloween, or whatever. Well, I got a bloody blinder on Halloween, ironically, uh, the last Halloween. That was good. Well, it's like EVPs, like just normal, through a normal EVP recording. Sometimes you can hear something when in the background, but you can't hear exactly yeah, what you're saying. Yeah. Unless you pull it through some software, then yeah, lift it amp up. it up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I don't really have any EVPs. I, I, I've got a digital recorder. Um, I think the best EVP I've had, I wish I the phone got chuck down the toilet of all freaking things oh, yeah. but it is that one where my daughter's on the swing and my um my mum my wife is pushing her and yeah. she did this video for me in the taxi because obviously i spent a lot of time in the taxi i didn't get to see my family a lot so she did this video for me pushing uh my daughter on the swing and she's just waving to her left there's nobody there i know this park it, 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 no one ever goes in the damn park except where i live and she's pushing it and like waving to nobody and all of a sudden you hear this metallic it's like a metallic voice go gooey Cooey? Who says cute? Is that Victorian? Yeah, but it's, it's really eerie because it is like a metallic voice. And it's coming out loud. And she's waving to whatever it is. Is that the Harry she keeps hanging on about? Blah, blah, blah. Harry this. Blah, blah, blah. Harry. Who, who's Harry? I don't know I don't Harry. They're not imaginary friends at all. Like, see, they see ghosts for the more receptible. receptible. Mm. Mm. It's interesting. What I find weird as well is she doesn't remember it. Like, she's six now. And this happens to that too. That's all right. You know, Talk, you know, doesn't have any memory of it whatsoever. Yet she's clearly interacting with something that she can see. Yeah. Because she's still in the in like the living room. She's talking like she's talking to someone that's not there. You know, in her babble language, with this Harry in each sentence, <laughs> like you know. But we couldn't see nothing. And and same with the the picture on my avatar when I was taken, we didn't see a big black cloaked figure standing in front of us. That's for sure. There's nothing there when you took the picture. That's just what came out on the phone. You know. After that click, so how did the camera see it, but we can't see it? What's the difference? Why did the camera pick up, but we don't? Yeah, I was saying that last time I stream actually. It's unusual that we don't see certain things. You know, we get to see that breath of the eye kind of movement, but we don't yeah, yeah. see physically, you know, in front. You know, yeah, our yeah. cameras, digital cameras, camcorders pick up crazy stuff. Yeah. I, I've caught in the past about six apparitions, movie apparitions on my camcorder. Oh, well. but you know, yeah. you've never seen them face to face because it's dark and you know, yeah, yeah. IR light is a different yeah. spectrum, and we can pick, the camera can pick up different things with the spectrum. 
we I can't see it about, in that spectrum. What about photo on what I got? That wasn't pitch black either. It wasn't bright light, but well, yeah. like the light I've got now, energy saving bulbs. It was quite low light, you know, mm-hmm. like the news at 10 or whatever, and the curtains are drawn. And it was on a, uh, an old, the first generation smartphone. It wasn't even touch screen. It's got on the internet. Oh, right. that, but, you know, an old, old smartphone. Tech, a bit old tech there. Hmm. I'll get a lot of EVPs on my old Nokia V5 mobile phone. Yeah. Love that phone. I just sent one up to someone because she's helped me out in donations quite a lot, actually. So I sent her one of my Nokia E5s and a audio recorder for her to test out. Okay. Yeah, Nokia E5 is a great little mobile phone. Yeah, yeah. So what do you think of the modern phones now? Are they good for um, EVPs now? The technology has moved on so quickly with the mobile phones for possibly you know, capturing... I've the- never really tried doing the EVP with my mobile phones my androids i've always used my nokia or a normal audio recorder yeah. yeah if it works you don't change the uh, that's why my spirit box is a little bit um like that my best captures have always been on the sv7 using that magnet i don't like those sv7 so correct well no i don't i don't like the normal use of them the, the yeah. low white noise i know it's ex- it was their expert i can't say it it's but experimental at the time and i'm yeah. overthinking behind it but it sort of ruined it in my mind because, I don't know, it's just overbearing with it. And it's not real white noise. It's faux white noise. It's fake white noise, you know, uh, whatever that means. You know, you can also get good EVPs through the actual camcorder audio as well, can't you, sometimes? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. I've had quite a few EVPs coming through. You know, just walking, doing a nature walk, you know, kind of thing, walking through the common yeah. like, camcorder recording. There's no one around you whatsoever. And when you come back home and you upload and you sit there, you know, you feel yeah, like, uh, yeah. mate, else do, you might as well watch it, you know, mm. watch yourself on video. And it's crazy that sometimes you pick up um, voices from somewhere. Yeah. All right. All right, man. Okay. Okay. So what's the um, most scary, spooky thing that's happened to you? Um, oh, crikey. Apart from talking, talking to us tonight, <laughs> I don't know really. I mean, not me, but to my family. I mean, I was out, but having my daughter pushed against the headboard while putting my wife under like unconscious sedation. Um, uh, if I wasn't there at the time, I mean, I got the phone call after, you know, come home quick. You know, the boy who's not a boy anymore, you know, rescued him. He heard. The door, you know, his sister crying like more than a normal, you know, why isn't mum dealing with her? You know, it's not, not right here. And he goes in and he says the scene that he found was she was upside down and being squashed against the headboard, this, you know, one and a half year old baby. Oh, and he yeah. actually like went to grab her and he kept trying to shake his mum, my wife, you know, waking her. She won't wake up. She's, you know, he had to really slap her to hell to wake her up, like, you know. And he says, it's just really weird. I mean, it's pitch, it's, it's pitch black in a room, but, you know, that's the scariest thing you know imagine if my daughter had died in that way right mm. because that what so do you think that's quite i'm an normal thing a, a ghost did it you know you you wouldn't know what to, how yeah. to, you know it'd uh, just be very odd you know and and you know I, you'd be considered a loony but you know that happened you know it was is witness well, my wife was, as I said, I said, do you remember anything? She goes, no, it's like nothing. It wasn't like I was asleep. You know, you sleep, you have a dream or you have, you know, it was like, like I was nothing, like no, nothing. I didn't exist. It's just nothing. Flat, you know? So um, I think like we were talking about, you know, children being in paranormal. I'm very happy with them being in the paranormal. Like John, yeah. you know, he's got three kids and he's, he's happy with them, you know, learn about the paranormal. Some people yeah, I mean, don't. She's, like I said, her first words, as you know, I just said her first words were Harry. So, because some people say to me, why do you uh, expose your daughter to this then? You know, well, first of all, you know, I'd rather be in contact with these entities because they were there. We didn't ask for them to come. They were there already, if that makes sense, you know. We didn't ask them. And when I said to them, how did it come about? How did, how did this start? She was, oh, it just started happening. Just weird shit started happening, like drawers being shut and all that kind of thing, you know, in the middle of the night being slammed. Uh, oh, she got stacked. Well, that was the thing. Right, she's in her room, and her boy, this is before I'm on the scene, okay? And this is the early days of this shit happening. She could hear yeah. things moving and being dragged, and she's oh my god, a burglar's in the house. So they just hid under the duvet, uh, and Justin's with her as well, under the duvet, like, cowering. They actually fall asleep and forget it. But there's a lot of noise in there. Anyway, she goes to open the door, the bedroom door, clunk. What the hell? All of 
like the stuff, like the, the, the candlesticks, uh, toys, had all been pushed against her door in like a weird stacked way, you know? Mm. What the fuck? You know, did someone come in my house and just do this for a joke and then run away? Or yeah. well, but that was the early days of that sort of thing happening, you know? Yeah. Like, like I said, I've got so many accounts uh, and things that have happened through that, that time period. And, and I, I, you know, looking back, I wish I really had documented, but a lot of it is. You can't predict when and where it's going to happen. When it happens, it's usually short and very quick, like like the open air speak, you know, be, being some silent night while I've got my boxers down to my ankles in the toilet, what am I going to do? Like, jump out of the toilet, try and grab a phone, start pressing record. By that time, it's finished, it's over. And first of all, I didn't even know it was a, uh, one of these entities doing it. I thought it was Christmas carolers at first. And then I started thinking, hang on a minute, midnight, and we've never, ever in 10 years had Christmas carolers, ever. Why now? And then, you know, I realised it was coming from, not from the door, but above me, like, like above me. Like, what? You know, it's, it's fucking... Yeah. Uh. Well, I, I had that, just because this thought, I had a, a, an experience in the foot of my bed, this wispy, this mist, a ball of mist, well, shapeless mist, just went through the, went through the wall. Blue, light blue mist, and I, I looked at it. <laughs> yeah. I, that, yeah. That, that, I wasn't even scared, I was like, what the fuck's that? The primary language, you know. That's true, though, I just don't know what the... <laughs> Yeah, yeah. I, I try to explain it from cars, the lights from the cars, at night time from coming in, but the curtains were drawn. So uh, I I, that's true. I just, I just can't explain it. Which Something can be scary. Like I've had, like you know, in living yeah. full blown black black apparition, the white one in the kitchen. Yeah. While I've been live streaming, um, there was a time when I was in Mitchum. Uh, Mitchum, what's it called? Um, there's a place I was in. Uh, while I was in temporary accommodation, full place, my bed finally shook three times in one night. Yeah. And yeah. I mean, it shook. I, it I felt know, like yeah. every time I was in the earthquake, you know. Yeah, well, um, we've, we've had that. Trying to come through, actually. Yeah, you know, we, we've, we've had that a lot, the, the bed, fucking about in bed. They used to um, rattle our headboard. Like, bang, bang, <laughs> bang, bang, bang. In this rhythmical fashion. We're like, is that a hint? You after a show or something? You know? <laughs> and the thing is, though, this was so crazy. Mine was so yeah. crazy. It is a brand new bed they bought me here, and the next morning it is broken. Because it had been shaken so violently, you know. And the only person in the spirit world that used to do that was my mate David, when he when he used to come around and wake him up to go around the cafe or something, yeah, go down the motorway for a bacon sandwich or something. Um, and I did do a Ouija board a couple of days later and asking, you know, what caused that? And they said, Oh, it's David coming to pay you a visit, he's trying to wake you up. I said, What was he trying to do? You know, wake me up to go down the fucking cafe with him or something? Was he got a spirit car with him or something? You know, uh, I said, Like, it really just scared the hell out of him, you know, because it really honestly and truly broke the bed. And it's, the only yeah. thing is, I didn't document it because I, I didn't have a proper camera at the time. Yeah. I was well, using my like, smartphone. When and where. You know, it happens, you know, and I have that phone to hand. It is, it's frustrating sometimes because, like, you know, when you say, talk about these things, people must think you're, you're talking shit, you're lying, you're making it out like, no, no. I mean, I, I, I promise you that when these things happened, I had to check with myself that I wasn't seeing things, I'm losing my fucking mind, you know. I honestly thought, I'm, I've got a brain tumor or something, I don't know, what, what? You know, it's something not, I can't, you know, uh, it's just really messed up. And what's what's worse of it, going through this sort of dry spot that I have at the moment, it sort of makes me lose faith, like, did all that stuff really happen? Because it's, it's gone dry at the moment kind of thing. But no, it, it did happen. I mean, yeah. So, you know, I'm having arguments with myself in my own head, like, but when you have witnesses to it, that's when you realise, yeah, did this shit happen? Yeah. It's real, you know. I've got plenty of witnesses at that house yeah. who I can call on today. And we'll nod down and go, yeah, we, we saw this, we saw that, or, you know, this happened. And when, you know, so when you've got witnesses, that's a good thing, you know. It is a shame that I didn't, you know, start the YouTube channel during that time period. But yeah. I was very angsty, very, you know, punk rock ethic. We didn't want to be on social media, you know. We, we didn't want, we didn't like the modern world. It was just me and my wife in this bubble. And like I said, I was only going to do one rant video on Mr. Huff, you know, because... It, one? Like I said, I think you're doing all on one, haven't you, Riley? On Mr. Huffy Puffy? Riley, should you call these people out? It's good you do that. That's 
good. A lot of people have done videos on him actually. Yeah. yeah. I, I, I think that's good. That's good. Yeah. These they give the they give the people the bad name. Just just yeah, it. yeah, because it makes people like me or, or you guys or anyone else look yeah. like we're just either deluded or after money or we're just liars for attention or yeah, that's right. you know what I mean? Because those yeah. can, those that can understand and be logical and can see through it, you know, I like oh, Sturt's manipulate sound, mate. You don't know that. You got no idea how they do this stuff, you know. Yeah. And if that is the case, they manipulate sound. Then tell me. How do you differentiate between your app firing out words through your bloody guitar amp or if it's Spirit doing it? The only way you could do that is, if it's a bank app, is to literally take your capture that you've captured, say it says I'm dead, the dev, whatever, and then open up the app and go through every single little MP3 snippet, all the thousand, hundred snippets, and cross-reference it to see if it's not one of them. If it's not one of them, Oh, uh, yeah, you might have something there. It manipulated the sound to form its own word or whatever. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah but, I mean, but he's been caught out so many times, hasn't he, where he's been doing his own video, like well, his own sound banks and putting yeah, them yeah, into the yeah, bloody yeah. app, isn't he? Even his yeah. Patreon, they do that, though. You know, his Patreon isn't even live anymore. It is just set up. Yeah, I mean, seriously, like, you know, and they, they don't understand. They don't know what a jump cut is or whatever. And if you tell them, oh, you're just jealous, you're always a jealous guy. Look, look, look. Let's put it this way. Even if I was jealous, we'll just say that I'm jealous, okay? Just if I make people yeah. happy. It Are you jealous, Riley? <laughs> the fact that you've been, you know, but he's been caught. You know what I mean? It doesn't take it. That doesn't answer the cool. the issues yeah. that are set out there. It doesn't you know? That's not an argument. It's a poor man. And the court right? It's right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I unsubscribed from his page. I found out with the right channels or not. That's you, mate. Are you gone? <laughs> I'm going. <laughs> Sorry, guys. You're going to have Mr. Huff on your uh, your radio show. I won't be watching. I won't even come on because I would be ripping them apart, I think. Yeah. I, yeah. I, lost, I lost my um, interest in him when he was doing a ghost hunt in the cemetery and he was actually yeah. advertising his SDT1. And uh, the guy was just about to be buried. You can see him being walked down and cast it. Yeah, yeah. And he starts going, Oh, you know. If you need any help, come to me. I can help you cross over. You know, if he's fucking God himself, that's when I lost all respect on the yeah, guy. Yeah, he, he has got, as they say, a cult. It's like, uh, you know, the Kool-Aid cult. And, yeah, yeah. and the other thing I don't like about him is that as soon as someone dies, you know, someone some, someone famous, you know, oh, I spoke to, like, so-and-so last night, you know, Bobby Williams, I spoke to this person, I spoke to that person, you know. He thinks he can speak to every fucking single kind of, like, this famous person. Thing. These celebrities he's on about in life they wouldn't pee on him if he was on fire. So why in death if I'm gonna talk death, to him. <laughs> they, they would go to him? They don't know where he lives, who he is, what you know, nothing, nothing about him. And if he, you know, if all these other people are reaching out to XXX Tantassian for the millionth time, you know, yeah. what's he gonna do? He's gonna be a very busy man going around yeah. all these Has he got to a special portal to the to the to the deceased stars or something? Yeah, yeah. We don't know that, you know. <laughs> if you are going to be floating around when you die for however long period, I'm pretty sure you would follow your friends and your family and things like that, and your daughter or your son. You know, I don't think you would go. Oh, let's go see Mr. Huffles. He's calling out for me right now. You know, help me, help me cross over, please. You know, it's just Jesus Christ. I come with love and no ill intent. Uh, if you get a DVP session, you're top, you asshole. <laughs> Hmm. What? <laughs> uh, get rid of that one. Yeah. That would be a great EVP, but someone room? will probably think that he's put it in his own app so he can. You know, <laughs> yeah. He's even said that the devil's talk spoken to him. That's yeah. true. Times he said that the devil has spoken to him. Oh, really? Yeah. It's just, it's just us are fortunate. Oh, the thing is, sir, I'm, you know, yeah. I mean, people say he's got seven hundred million subs, and your message isn't getting out there. Isn't my message getting out there? Do you want to take a look at his views? All right, he's got 30,000 views. But 30,000, when you have 700,000 subs, is not a good count. My radio no, time, with the amount of subs yeah. I got, he isn't getting the views that he should get with that amount of people, you know? So, Just yeah, yeah. Hmm. yeah. But, you know... I, I Is there anybody else you called you call out? Yeah, oh, but... I've seen loads over the, the years. Um... I can't think of any right now. Yeah, well, I recently proven demons, isn't it? He's bone in the wall and uh, oh, yeah. fake divot box and, yeah. you know, 
he seems to be the one that struck my channel recently because he put up a post like saying that it's extra chipper because a certain bully in the paranormal field has lost the channel for for um oh, what's the word misconduct. Well, he put that post up before I even know I had lost my channel. How did he know so damn quickly? You know, he said, well, news travels fast, he says to me. I, I, I didn't do anything, I swear. News travels fast. And then said, enjoy your new hobby. He's really, really cocky and cocksure to me. But again, he's another one with a, a huge ego. He's a superstar, you know. And uh, it's not really about the ghost anymore. It's just the host. But hey, I, I can't talk about the state of my fucking videos. But Jesus Christ, man. Was he <laughs> in um, Truth Seekers at one time? He was really, yeah. This is the thing with him. Um, he, he's a user. But... No, I said, was you in True Seekers? Yeah, yeah. I, I, I started up, didn't I? Yeah, what happened to that? It, it just fell apart, it's didn't it? A lot of people yeah, just so got still up. It, We started being public, and then like, yeah. uh, I got all mixed in with the, the cat angel, like, like cat angel. She, she calls people out, didn't she? As well, huff and that. Uh, and obviously, she made enemies of certain people, and because I was with that person as well, they, you know, they all started. Uh, and we just got trolled like to the point of no more. And in the end, we got fair. We made it. We started the group again, but this time making it private because you can't. Once you've made a group, you can't turn it to private or public. You it's set mm. and locked like that. And we're fed of people like seeing our messages and stuff and you know whatnot. Not that we we post anything that nefarious on that site at all, hardly. You know, uh, you know, the message was, oh, it's just some sort of little bullying clique down there. You know, they're all laughing at uh, respected, um, you know, ITC researchers. No, if, if if you're respected and you don't fake, and no worries. But yeah, people are said that I think they're deep fake or whatever, you know. But it is, you know. But you can always get in there anyway, you know. Like uh, we've got a mole in there, and probably about three or four moles in there, like reporting back. I mean, I mean, it it doesn't bother, you know. Whatever, whatever, you know. But yeah, it, it's it went through um a bit of a, a weird time, you know. Um, yeah, I don't know. Just weird, live and learn and experience and trying to understand mm. how, to, how to handle things. Some things weren't handled right, others, you know, uh, and... So I did join uh, Truth Seekers, but, you know, I was just seeing what people were actually posting. Um, and then I, I thought, well, look, I'm not really contributing on the thing, so I might as well just, like, you know, step yeah, away. Yeah, yeah, so. I remember. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah, you know, anyone's welcome to leave or come back anytime. There's no, you know, uh, mandate on that or whatever. But yeah, I do remember, yeah. Yeah, if you're not posting, you want to leave, that's, that's cool. But, yeah, I mean... Yeah, it's 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 I'll tell you what it has done. It's, it's brought a lot of good friends together. Yeah. Uh, friendships can form them bonds that might even last forever. You know. Um, uh, I get quite a few emails actually here and there. People thank me to the friends they have made through that community. You know, real strong friends. I mean, uh, you know, e even myself. That my those those people in that community and and my subscribers or whoever if they're not in that community, they they. Wow, it's not a secret. They've helped us out no end. You know, we would still be in that property. All right, yes, it was great. It had a lot of paranormal activity, but it had black mold everywhere, for God's sake. And my daughter didn't have a room. You know, we needed to move. They made that happen. They got we got they got us back on the road. Um, when things have gone wrong in other areas, we just had so much, you know, help and whatnot, which which will never be forgotten and needs to be paid forward in one way or another. Uh, and the strength. Of the bonds of the friendship is, is just um yeah I've never seen anything like it you know and considering I, I was I'm very anti you know social media and all the rest of it, um yeah I don't know it's just I'm glad we, we are moving platform because G plus is shutting down isn't it uh, you know uh so we're gonna move platform to, to somewhere else which I'll put up a video near the time because you know hasn't been set up yet but um yeah I, I really I wouldn't swap right the people who who sub to me who are in that group or whatever for all the viral million faceless people in the world you know what i mean uh, it, they've all got a clue as well they then they're, they're not stupid a lot of these people some of them really know their stuff a lot of it people are experienced in there you know i can call out some people like uh we'll say rob austin paranormal and there's uh nmpi glenn you know um you know, these people have a lot of experience and, and knowledge on, on this as well, if you ever need help or whatever. So they're not just, a lot of them are just learning or, or you know. Yeah, it's just mad. I, I I can't really fit the words that describe, you know, my, my feeling on it. It's a bit odd, you know, but um, yeah. It's, yeah. <laughs> uh, I've had
I'm having a moment. Just, just bear with me, it'll be all right. <laughs> I think it's a shame that they broke down, you know, true see, because there's a lot of good groups in there, but, you know. Yeah. It's, it's the, still going, it's just changing. The drama the crept in, didn't it? The old drama started calling yeah, in. Yeah, yeah. Destroying yeah. things, you know. Like oh, you said, always. Kat, you know, I've had a problem with Kat, but we sorted it out. You know, yeah, look, our cat's never done me any wrong. I know, like people are falling out of her, but to me, she's always been good for me. You know, she. You know. Um, oh, I, I talk to Cat now. You know, she yeah. she's done a few videos on me in the past. You I'm know, not taking any sides with that, Steve, or anything like that. You know, but like, yeah, you made yeah. it great, but you know, I'm not saying anything wrong or anything. I'm just saying she's never, I've ne she's never done me any harm or wrong or anything. But you know, obviously she she has her enemies, and if her enemies see me like talking to her, wow, you know. I got a target on my back as well, you know. Mm. But it is weird like that, isn't it? There is, um, you know, pe people do have cliques and sides and stuff, don't they? Mm. Yeah. What yeah. not, you know. Well, are you friendly or are you still friendly with Proven Demons? No, no, not at all. Um, like I say, every what he, you know, I promoted him and shouted him all the time when he was like nobody, if you like. And like I said, the original Andrew who I knew would would be really ashamed. Or, ne or would vow never to turn into the Andrew he is today. You know, that's all the time mm. he was just making art, you know, just saying yeah. for the fun of it. I don't know. No, the only yeah. though, he's okay. It just, it just plays through all these, 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 well, these egos. He's good. He's, yeah. he's, good. He, he's, he's got some amazing spirit box captures and stuff. He yeah. really has. He's not like he's yeah. shit or anything. Yeah. He's good. But, um, um, good stuff. You, know, yeah. Yeah. you know, he's working the YouTube game, you know, saying yeah. the same words. What's up, YouTube? It's your boy and fam and just like every other other channel. But it works. That's what he wants. No worries. But the thing that I take issue with is like, you know, once he got out as much use as he needed out of me, I was thrown under the bus and he was with somebody else. Well, yeah. got as much use out of them. Oh, look, they fell out. He throws them under the bus. Then he goes to someone else. Uh, and what he does, he gets with a, a certain group of people or a channel that's got higher subs than him, or their subs like, like him and subscribe to him. So yeah. he comes up to a level. Once he goes over, he ditches them and goes on to the next one who's a little bit higher. It's like a pattern, you know? Mm -hmm. And every, and uh, you know, if it's like an he, ego he's thing, going out with, then okay, it's just yeah. mine and his issue. But so, you yeah. know, every person he's gone past, yeah. have an issue you know so are we all wrong are we all you know wrong or, yeah. or is it him you know but yeah. no, I, 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 I did like the guy but you know like with Huff when he started like you know doing ghost boxes when something buried that kind of lost my respect for him but what lost uh, my respect for proven demons when he admitted that he fucking faked that bone in the wall you know kind of thing yeah. 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 but like, that's what you gotta do if you wanna you yeah. know be get the, the views because obviously he wants to make it as his, his job so the more views you get the more he's going to get paid isn't it yeah. and that's what works yeah it gets lots of teenage and teenagers love the jump scares and shit yeah. you know what i mean oh my gosh no you know yeah, i'm gay station Ugh. no i'm not saying i won't watch his channel again but you know it kind of like yeah i've got really the, pissed with it well like the, the uh like, Ouija brothers they they got really Pissed with it, didn't yeah, they? Yeah, yeah. With them, I remember that. Yeah, his it's ex girlfriend well, now he's like... going with his ex girlfriend the DNA paranormal. He used yeah. to the Ouija brothers, that's right, I believe, isn't it? Mm. Ooh, but it's like the lies as well, just the, the yeah. past of lies. Like, for instance, he had this, he was saying, he's showing his haunted objects. I, eat, I get these haunted objects, I keep these haunted yeah. objects in a special cupboard. That cupboard isn't a special cupboard. That's his ex girlfriend's mother's cupboard where her fucking knickers are. You know what I mean? Like, why? 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 Uh, he don't go in the cupboard and start sniffing them, does he? Yeah, like, uh, as, 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 as you put oh, it oh, in the magical world, like, why would you? But I guess, you know, the teenagers were, I go, wow. You know, he's got haunted objects, but he dare not speak of. Hey, yeah, that's and cool, he, man. Yeah. You know, <laughs> Under lock and key in a special cupboard. <laughs> it looks like a normal cupboard where you put your knickers on, but whatever, you know. But lying to your audience, whatever. You know? <laughs> the <nickel> world. <laughs> but it's working. It doesn't matter how many people will put out videos saying, you know, he put a bone in the wall. His subs are climbing each and every day, and he'll make yeah. it. He'll make it on the platform. He'll hit a million subs in a couple of years. He'll do now, fine. You know? Is it a haunted knicker cupboard? Is that why they lock it? Because the knickers keep disappearing. Yeah, yeah. 
Yeah. Hearing Nicker for long. <laughs> Nicker domain. I, th I think he's. I think he's. I think his problem is he's forgot where he started from the beginning. He's forgot his way and what the paranormal is all about. I think. The fame or the subs or whatever, uh, he, 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 he do, he, he's in. He's doing it the, the wrong way of doing things. If he wants to go down that road of by bending the rules here and there, put yeah. down this is only entertainment per the only. Yes, yes. It's going to confuse people. Why don't you put that in these videos? No one's going to have a problem. If he's going to put down entertainment. No, 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 no. Someone did say, and I don't really talk to them because I had a lot of hell, a hell of a lot of drama with a certain person, so I'll keep them away from them. But even he said, like, you know, you've got to kind of, like, make up things. Because, uh, like, you know, things do get really quiet and boring. So you kind yeah, of have yeah. to think the same cut. And, and if it ain't real, you know, at least, you know, it might bring some of the people to watch you. But mm. the thing is, some people don't realise that if you don't tell them exactly what's going on, then they, they're going to turn around and say, well, you faked it, you know, kind of thing. Yeah. Well, you yeah. turn around and say at the end of the video, or at the end of the stream, oh, by the way, this wasn't real, you know. I, I kind of like a lot just more respect, wouldn't you? A lot yeah, more respect. you are going to get a bit more respect because you, you actually go say, Oh, by the way, this wasn't real, you know. It's something that I kind of like, um, thought up, you know, kind of thing. And you know, I just wanted yeah. to, you know, what kind of um reaction I would get from it, you know. So if I've pissed anyone off, I apologize, you know. It's just like, you know, if we don't think about doing things like this, then you know, we might lose, you know, the viewing and all that kind of stuff, but mm. um. You no, know, you have to yeah, sometimes, I think, think of things, you know, in a proper way to do it, though. Hmm. I'm trying to think that what that word's called begins with R. I can't remember what it's called. Okay, I don't <laughs> and don't forget in the chat room, don't forget in the chat room, people. Don't forget to support each other, like each and subscribe to each other. It does help supporting each other in the paranormal. So, people in the chat room, please do support each other and describe to each other. It does yeah, help dude. people out. Yep, well, indeed. Guys, I'll, I'll mirror this video onto my channel tomorrow or whatever, and you know, put your link on that, and that'll help you out. Hopefully, if some of my viewers come across, maybe. Uh, Aussie woman, I'll just subscribe to Aussie woman. Oh, it's Angela Elkington from, um, oh, hang on, New South Wales, Australia. That's our, that's our friend that's uh, in the show, in the chat room. That's, that's I want to see chat, but I can't because I haven't got my other phone on me. My wife's that's there. to say hello to our, I can't even pronounce it, uh, of. Yeah, New York. I've already described that one. I'm sure I have. Uh, right, if you could, could you check out uh, Black Country Seekers? That, that's a good channel, John. He does amazing work. He does uh, he does the paranormal stuff and he does charity work on the side, uh, yeah. doing the paranormal work. He's a brilliant channel to check out. He's a small group like me. He's probably got about five five hundred people, but the work what yeah. he does is amazing. Please check out his channel. It's amazing. Okay. Oh, he's okay. actually live streaming on his own channel at the moment. Um, See, this is the thing. A lot of people say to me, like, with the whole Huff thing, he's got 700,000 subs. You've only got 4,000. So, like, yeah, I post, I post he, Black Country. That doesn't thinking. say your channel is legitimate. It's because you've got so many subs. If anything, if you want to go by statistics, there's usually the tiny channels with 100 to 700 or whatever are the ones that are real. <laughs> then, you know, ones with the great big mass numbers that are not real, you know? If you want yeah. to go by statistics, you know? Um, so I hate when people say, you know, judge a channel by how many subs it's got. It, it, sub count means nothing in my mind. It really doesn't. And I guess that's the difference again between me and Prue and Dean. And sub count is really important to him. Views are really important to him. That's the goal, you know. Uh, and it, you know, and to a lot of other people, I suppose the majority, I guess, on YouTube. And in this game, maybe not so, because obviously we're out, we're seeking truth or whatever you want to call it. But um. Yeah, it does hurt me that, you know, everything's judged on how many subs you got. That shows how legitimate and how good you are. Like, nah, it just shows you're more popular and, you know, whether your stuff is real or fake, it, it, you, you know, it doesn't say how trustworthy you are. You know what I mean? Just because of your sub count. Gosh, First of myself, I just say true to my true to myself, and Matt probably does the same on our channel. Uh, we've got 109 uh, uh, subs, and we do appreciate the people who describe oh, yeah. Oh, brilliant. Uh, 111. That's brilliant because half the time, sometimes if you watch our station, um, some of our live streams, sometimes we just talk about random stuff. If you know, oh, yeah, 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 yeah,
I've only yeah. got 2,505. Sometimes I, I keep getting them up and down, you know, like a yo yo. Someone comes to Skype to me. So I did lose a lot um, just recently because all the fucking drama shit, you know. Yeah. I even lost some good happen. friends as well. Yeah. Very good friends. Yeah, well, especially, especially on YouTube recently, I have heard of some, uh, especially YouTube hitting out on a paranormal community. <laughs> Uh, taking pages off, reinstating pages, taking pages off, and wow. I, I, don't, I don't know what I hit in the parallel community for. Well, people are trying to try yeah. freedom of speech and trying to get the work out there and this, that, and that. I can't see it, it's a big platform for everyone to do what they need to do. Yeah. And if you don't like people, don't watch them certain people or don't watch that certain channel. Go somewhere else if you know what I mean. It's a big platform out there for most of people. Uh, to people to watch you the channels, if you know what I mean. If you don't like a particular channel, don't watch it. This is kind of nuts. People like trolling there to annoy people. <laughs> well, you know, yeah, the thing yeah. is, uh, as Riley probably knows, Google Plus is going to be closing down indefinite on April the 2nd. Uh, you know, it's going to be removing Google Hangouts, Google Chat, Google Profiles, oh, Google Mail, Google everything. Mail, is it? Yeah, oh, oh, the hell. only way you can do Hangouts is for YouTube, but there is an alternative to Google Hangouts. It's called Google Meet. It's similar okay. to like the Hangouts, what you do, but when you click on the link, it goes to like a Google page where it asks you to put a code in, okay. and you just put like one, two, three, four, whatever, and you click OK. Then you can send invites to people that way uh, through the link, and when they come on, you got to give them the code, or otherwise they can't get in. Okay. I've not. Tr I've been there. You know, I've opened up one little Google TV. It is the same kind of thing. Yeah. Uh, I've never had G invited anyone on it to test it out yet. Yeah. But there like are other platforms out there. Like, was it called Me Me or Me Why or me, something? Me, yeah, Me What the fuck it's called? Yeah. You know, you've got really Skype. Good. You can do Skype as well. You know. Mm. Yeah, that's why I'm going to be moving to Me We. I've got to set up. So I tried to set up in sort of the first or second week of March. Uh, for the true seeker community thing, but, um, yeah, bit of a shame, isn't it? That's going, but what can you say? Yeah, the only way you can do like a YouTube hangout now is through YouTube, go into your settings and do event. You can't, eat. I tried doing the thing through Google Plus last night, mm -hmm. um, to show that you know, me and um, John was going to be on, and it says, Sorry, you can't not do events no longer on Google Plus. I thought, Oh crap. Hmm. Yeah, you know, it's still got a listing of all the events from 2018, but you can't do an event on there anymore. Yeah. Nice, I've got about 15 minutes left, guys. Um, probably got loads longer left at five in the morning, like every day I do. But, I yeah, much appreciated, Riley, for, uh, for you taking your time out to come on. Yeah, you've been fantastic. Um, like I say, uh, you've been brilliant uh, to take your time to come on our channel. Just to show me had the audio issue at the beginning, but yeah, yeah. I'll probably invite you on mine one of these days if you want to come on Riley. Yeah, if, if I, I don't yeah. worry about time. I'm all over the place at the moment with my wife's new job and, and, and other things that are just going on. I, yeah, like, it won't be for a few weeks anyway. All over the place, mate. Yeah, but yeah. yeah. Don't worry. Can I ask you, uh, Riley, about what do you think is your, your opinion on the stone tape theory? On the what theory? Stone tape theory. I've not heard of that. I don't no, it's where it's, where it's, where it's especially that inanimate uh, materials come to every, every, you know, from every every day li living, living beings. Where it absorbs... Okay, so inanimate materials can absorb from it from everyday living beings. I don't know. Is it, is what, is like residual right? energy? What, so Resist, like, um, residual, is it? Yeah, residual. Yeah. So, like, so like, so, theory, so if yeah. my daughter played with a doll constantly uh, and she passed away, she'd want the doll. Is that what you mean? I mean, like, it's a bit caught on, caught, absorbed into the walls, and something's happened dramatically. I suppose. Some, or, oh, or, yeah, and, yeah. You know, yeah. Object as well as. I think Funny you should say that. I, think, yeah, oh, yeah. I, I, I sort of do yeah. because there's. Uh, I've never actually got anything from it. I did actually. I went to Paranormal X. I've got some great evidence. There's a collab yeah. between me and Paranormal X. But every time I've been on there on my own at Roundway yeah. Hill, which is the Battle of yeah. the Roundheads and Cavaliers up there, oh, um, yeah. I've never got anything. But I've, I went there when I was like 14 or something with some spiritualist dude. I can't remember how we, how we met or whatever. But the point is, 
they say that uh, every, I don't know, on a certain date, at a certain time, you'll hear a bugle horn go off, even though there's nobody there, to symbolise, like, the start of a battle. And then, like, eight hours later, you'll hear it again to symbolise the end of a battle. It just comes out of nowhere. And these entities that are there go through the motions, like, like a VHS tape. It, you can't interact with them. It leads but... over and over again, you know? yeah. Yeah, just repeats yeah. over and over again. And I, I sort of half went, it's like, well, I'm this spiritualist dude. He took us around, he said, right, no torches. And no torches, it's, you know, I'm with the hardest kid in, in the class, and we're holding yeah. hands, terrified, because we're, like, 14, yeah. it's pitch black in the forest somewhere. And this, this dude's, like, Turn it on anyway. He goes, Stop. It's like, Stop. He goes, Look over there. And apparently, it's pitch black. You can call Paradolia. We're only 14. So I don't know, you know. And like I said, I was always a diehard skeptic. So I sort of blew it off afterwards. But at the time, it was kind of weird. There was a dude with a shield peering over. Like, he's like, Yeah, well, you know, you won't be able to interact with him. Uh, but you can, you know what I mean? But he'll go through his motions up to the point of his death or whatever. Yeah. You know, oh, yeah. Over and over again. But there's no yeah. actual. Yeah. soul there you know there's no you can't communicate with oh, it no, it's, it's like right. the world the earth has recorded the event somehow yeah, yeah, and yeah. if you play it like a vhs tape almost it's like i think so, nature and edge hill similar i don't know if it's the anniversary of battle they hear you hear cat faint fate fate cannon fire and the cries and yeah uh, cries of soldiers and faded faded figures are they yeah, yeah, doing yeah. that over and over again possibly yeah. residual i don't necessarily on the anniversary of the battle but but, yeah, 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 yeah. It's yeah. probably more active on the anniversary. I don't know. I don't know. That's a speculation. But it's doing sure. that time and time and time again. And that's yeah, also, yeah. I'd love to do that. Just investigate Naseby Civil War battlefields. I think it was 1645 or um, but between Warwickshire and, and Northamptonshire. It's just my area. Anyway. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Chill was the first major conflict. And Naseby was the one that decided it. Investigate those battlefields and see see what can come up with. Yeah, I'd love to do yeah, some. Yeah. That. Live stream or something like that. Look, that's my ambition, isn't it, Kieran? Yeah. That's fascinating, though. It's definitely fascinating. Oh, I want to find some on there because I hear the stories. Like, so is there any truth in that? People heard, yeah. they've seen faded figures, heard cannons, and. and well, like cries. I said, I mean, I went around with Hill with Paranormal X, and we, we got some good stuff, especially on the Spirit Box. Yeah, yeah, well. yeah, yeah. And I, I'm dubious with K2 meters because obviously, yeah. you know. But there are no power lines there or anything like that. Exactly, but yeah, this, yeah. this we got yeah, with the K two as much reminded me of the dimmer switch, like with our entity at our old yeah, place. Yeah, it yeah. was going up to everything we asked it. You know who this person was. Are they anything to do with this or whatever? It turned out I don't know how you figured it out or whatever. Um, but it wasn't anything to do with about it. It was a, an entity that claimed to be uh killed for being a witch, but isn't a oh, witch. Yeah. You know. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, if you type in Order of Magic Paranormal X, you know, you'll you'll see that video. It's the only one I've ever done with them. But when I went on there on my own, I've been there like two or three times on my own to that place. Got zipped. Absolutely nothing. You know, not, not, yeah, not yeah, you know, yeah. nothing. You know? Oh, it's, 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 it's hit and miss so you get anything. It's not going to come out and queue and this and that. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I'll it's speak, yeah. Watch it. I wish it was more easy than that. This is why I get annoyed with, with those with those channels, you know. They make it look like it happens all the time. Yeah. Oh, but he's so in tune with the spirit world, don't you know? He's a guru. You're like, no. You, <laughs> you know, it doesn't happen all the time. It really doesn't. Like, how much you push for it, you know? And yeah. I'm going for a dry spot at the moment. It's doing my editing. But, you know, it's just one of those things. And that's, do you think the media was people susceptible picking people up and, you know, this, uh, they can describe that person. It's, 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 they're, they're feeling their presence here and all that. And some have got more. Have more of that. The power of being a medium than others. Some are more in tune, aren't they? As well. Yeah, yeah, that is true. That is true. But um, to, to to get you know to say you can get it all the time, what happens all the time, or every upload, there's some amazing evidence yeah. each and every time. It makes you start thinking. Really, you you not have a you know, yeah. every single time really. I you guess. Know? I mean, you could either have you've got in that kind of gift or you haven't been, I suppose. I don't know. It's just very boring, isn't it? Maybe. Maybe. Fantastic. That you can just pick some feeling or just some... You know, <laughs> nearby, and then you describe them, their clothing, and that they're, when they get a name come through. Yeah. <laughs> they're, they're sharp ones out there. I understand them. There's some people are yeah, yeah. genuine as well. That's why right. there is. You're going to get good... You're going to get... <laughs> yeah. yeah. And, and genuine ones. That's the, it's that they do normally that... that in the yeah, Michael, Michael Jackson oh, walked into a room. Michael yeah, Jackson yeah. walked in. He's wearing bandages. He <laughs> is. Oh, uh, you guys just think I'm saying this, but no, really, he's here in bandages. He's saying, "I love you." 
Don't feel sad for me. I have to go now. I love you. I'm back with her. Yeah. Much love. And he's gone. Mm. Wow. That was so intense, guys. Woo, I'm getting shivers. Let me show off and do it for sure. For sure. Like I you do. I do. <laughs> I'll do my second parody video now. <laughs> I haven't done Bugger All Team Car. I know people are asking for a part two on it, but I, I've only filmed like one or yeah. two things, literally. I'm, Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, I'll, get, I'll get to it if anyone's you know desperate to see it. It will come out soon, but um, yeah. I'd rather get it good than rush it. You know what I mean? So, Are you still investigating? You investigate on your own, don't you? Yeah, I I haven't really had much in terms of outward investigation. It's more in the house in the other house. I have yeah. been to a few places and that yeah. around where that, but yeah. uh, it's mainly at home just just because of a family and the busyness. But I was yeah. living in a property, but had. All the things going on that's where i you know discovered this shit happened you know yeah um but like i say when i moved to this new house i was really worried that i'm, I'm not going to get anything you know yeah. so my youtube channel is going to change completely it's going to be non-paranormal it's just going to be the, the vlog on family life yeah, yeah my channel isn't just paranormal it's oh, no, commentary, no, no. commentary on the paranormal scene and obviously my own personal well whatever i like to put out there with family and yeah stuff like that um you know but I was worried that, that the paranormal bit was going to go really dry because, yeah. wow, it's a new house. There's nothing here to my knowledge. Although we have had a few little things, nothing major. We had the devil's angel capture and we've had a door yeah. handle rattle. <laughs> you know, like a door handle rattle. That was the very sort of first week we were there. But after that, absolutely nothing really of note uh, yeah. that I can think of. Um, oh. So, yeah. Oh. But, it, but like I said, I captured that on the devil's angel thing. So clearly, I. There is communication with these entities that can come yeah. through from where I am, thank goodness, I guess. So it is possible because I've captured it, but I was so, so worried I wasn't going to be able to capture it. Yeah. You know, it wasn't going to come through. You're using Slender, Slenderman and Wiggles. I don't believe in any of that nonsense. Slenderman. That Slenderman. Slender, oh, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> Slenderman. <laughs> Wiggles. I don't believe I don't believe in Wiggles. I, I believe, you know, uh, I, I, I don't think, people, yeah. people, yeah. There's, there's, I think, Seems to be well, not I'm curious about I think that said it's the devil's angel. I want to know, was that a dead person pulling my leg? Yeah. Or, or was that, you know, some sort of entity that is the, what is a devil? What is that? The devil's angel. It, it, I can just imagine a six foot tall beast with wings. <laughs> and, you know, what is that? You know, what does it look like? Hmm. Or is it just an entity, a dead person who's pulling my leg, you know, and having a laugh with me? Yeah, you know? yeah. So I'll, you, I'll, never know, will I? I'll never ever know. Yeah. I won't have the answer to that, you know? Yeah. Okay, I've got, I'm going to go in a minute. I'll see you back in a minute. I'm okay, mate. Go. I've got about five minutes left, guys. Five minutes, sadly. Okay, right, Eddie. You know you've got five minutes. Uh, this is in case anyone's new in the chat room who don't, uh, needs to know where to find you. Where can I find you? Uh, you can find me on my channel, uh, Order of Magnitude, Paranormal and the Personal. Uh... You can find a good playlist of my evidence either on my channel uh, trailer thingamajiggy um, or you can search North Nottingham Paranormal, NNPI for short, and there's a playlist of most of my best sessions, like full. The, the, um, the trailer on my channel is a montage, uh, not just clips, but you know, five minutes or whatever, you know. Uh, you can find me or uh, a fan page that isn't me, but is me, if that makes sense. I'm not on there, but someone runs it for me on Facebook. Order of Magnitude, I guess. I don't actually know what the address is on that one. G+, uh, which is not going to be around much longer. Uh, no. I suppose search Order of Magnitude there. And email, if you want to email me for whatever reason. It's a long one. <laughs> Have your pen and paper ready. E for Edward. The number three zero as an E30, yeah, you know, as in the BMW E30. Uh, Riley R A L E Y M for mother two zero as in an engine from a BMW. So E30 Riley M20 at gmail.com. Where else am I? Oh, I'm on Patreon as well. Uh, order of magnitude again. You type in that in search. Uh, is that how you guys found me on it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, I had to go all over. Uh, I went on a couple of sites actually trying to find the right one. There. Yeah. First, well, I went to the Facebook page. Then yeah. somehow I found your email. Uh, uh, no, no. I wrote to you on Patreon. Sorry. And then yeah. you sent me a e uh, thingy. Then I sent you an email back, and that's how I found you through. 
Patreon. That's 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 how I found you. Sorry, through Patreon. Yeah. I said Patreon. Don't you don't have to. I guess the thing is, I like I've got some really lovely people that that have supported us through thick and thing, and are always be eternally grateful. But don't worry about Patreon. There's nothing extra on there. If you pay money, you'll get extra things. There's nothing. It, it, you know, there's no need to go on there. And and if you go on Patreon anyway, most of my posts uh, are um, public anyway, as opposed to being Patreon lot. My patrons are absolutely freaking awesome. None of them, I mean, they can demand. I don't mind. I want them to in a way because I want to give something back. But none of them have demanded exclusives. I was going to do a live stream in Boxwoods at uh, 3 in the morning I went. And I said, right, this is for patrons only. And they're like, no, no, no. Let everyone in on it. Let everybody know about it. Oh, okay. All right. I'll do it for you guys. You know, they're freaking so, so amazing, uh, the patrons I got. It's, it's, you know, and I feel like... Um, you know, why should you go without just because you can't afford, to, you know, a dollar or two a month or whatever the fuck it is? That's not fair, you know, so I don't like to exclude anyone. So no, don't yeah. worry, like, anyone who's like, oh, shit, you know, am I going to miss anything that I put out? If you're that sad, I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, <laughs> no, 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 yeah. Videos. Come on, man. You know, watch my yeah. awesome videos. But you know what I mean? There's, there's nothing exclusive on there, so don't worry, yeah. And that's about it. I think I can't think of any other places that I may or may not be. That's about it. Like I say, I'm very anti social media. My channel come by accident almost. And well, I'm here now, isn't it? So, you know. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Been here a couple of years now. So, you know, just that's that. And of course, I'm always open to suggestions if you, if you have an idea or, you know, a collaboration, anything like that. Or like now, for instance, you know, a anything, you know. Black like, Country like, Seek. I reckon Black Country, country Seekers would uh, do a collaboration with you. Uh... Uh, speak to John. He, he's yeah. on YouTube. Black, Black Country Seekers. Uh, Steve's put a link in there. He's. I, think I spoke to him before. I, I he did did say him. earlier. He left to meet up with Riley sometime. Where's he? Where's he from again? Uh, Black Seekers. Oh. West West Midlands area. area West Mid. Yeah. yeah, West Mid West Midlands. West Midlands. I, I've yeah. Spoken to him. The name really rings a bell every time. Uh, yeah, it's, it's, there are so many groups. There, uh, more, but I think I've got a feeling I have actually spoken to them before. So, yeah, okay, that's good to know. He's always looking for new people, so yeah. So, that helps oh. out of him, that helps out of you. Brilliant. That's that, that's that's what it's all about: helping out each other and yeah, collaborate yeah. with each other and doing the work together and being serious when you're doing that type of stuff when you're on the investigation. So, yeah. he'd be chuck. Yeah, definitely. Definitely. I just the other thing as well, like. Um, I, I was in a group called Death Seekers originally with, I'm not going to say her name because it's not her No, name. no, 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 no. Yeah, that's but, understandable. Yeah, but I was with this group, but, you know, uh, some people are like, well, not, not worry. I didn't want to be, you know, the personality of Order of Magnitude. When I do these investigations, the, the jokey or, or pissed about side tends to leave me and, the, you know, very focused, labour like, and like, okay, well, where are the hygiene from? Where's, where's the fun gone? Well, I'm sort of not here for that in that respect. You know, what yeah. I mean? so, you know the, the professionalism comes out. So, you know, if, if anyone uh, might find an investigation, me working with a team to be uh, not necessarily boring, I don't know, it depends what you're watching it for. Are you watching it for the presentation and the entertainment or a personality? Are you watching it for? You know the the uh, comprehensive evidence. You know what I'm trying to say? Yeah, yeah. I just keep it very professional when I when I'm working with a group of people. Is what I'm trying to say. I so this is like downsize to like fun time downsize. Like because yeah. you need to have a bit of downsize. You can't be. You do you know what I mean? It's just get too much if you if you done that all the time. So yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. All right, guys. I'm gonna have to leave it. Unfortunately, I've only got four percent battery anyway. Okay, so that's, that's, brilliant. that's brilliant. Much no appreciated, right? Take your time off. Like I say, I'll mirror uh, in a day or two. Or I'll mirror this onto my channel and put your link in and that, and hopefully, I'll throw some people your way a bit of luck on it. Oh, thank you, thank you for that. We'd love, no to, have you, we'd love to have you back on any time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fantastic, thank you, thank you again. All right, take Good care. Night. Good night. Night. I'll uh, hit you up in a few Sorry, weeks. See you around, do a hangout with me or something. Yeah. yeah. All right. Yeah. Right, I'm going to say goodbye to Furless. Sorry I couldn't see your chat. If anyone's English, I have no idea. But whoever's out there, I'll see you later. Uh, much love and what? Crap, I guess. <laughs> see you later, Furless. Okay. All the best. Bye. All right, catch you later. Good night. Good, night. good show, dear. Love that. That's good. That went really well, that, Steve. That and uh, Kieran. Yeah, definitely, definitely. Top man. Top man. Great guest. Yes.
Yeah. And it started off kind of like, <laughs> God, I'll be honest with you, it started a bit crappy because, uh, you know, the feedback for each. Oh, yeah. but we did eventually sort it out, which was good, you know. Yeah. And the time comes on again on your show, you just have to say, all right, put your speaker in. <laughs> <laughs> It's magic. This is magic. Then everything was fine, perfect. Audio-wise, yeah. it's yeah. when he comes. when he comes on your show. You learn from us, so you know what to say. So when he comes yeah. on your show, it'll be all sorted for you, mate. Yeah, yeah. like I, I said, he's kind of busy, so like I don't know when he'll be able to come on if he ever comes on. You know, let's yeah. sort it out with him. I'll have to pick him up on uh, on his channel one day. And see what happens. Well, I'll send you his uh, private emails uh, in your inbox, so you can uh, email. Oh, yeah. him. So, all right, cheers. So I, I had Patreon, but I took it down because I won't get no poop, no views on it. So, you know, it was it was wasting my time setting it up actually. Patreon. There's, there's people paid to go on that, is it? I can't remember. Is it? No, you, what you do, you set up a Patreon and you put like you link all your videos to it, but yeah. you can also link videos where people pay to watch something which mm -hmm. you've not publicly put out. Oh yeah. Crap, cash on it's the, like a pay per view yeah. kind of thing, you know, and oh, yeah. and, and if the, you can actually suffer like um, other things on this, say, like, well, you know, if you pay me five pounds per month as yeah. a patron, you know, you get like yeah. unseen footage, you'll get updates, you know, uh, you'll get a shout out, and all, all this other kind of stuff, you know, yeah, but you can also put some of your videos up so you can charge like a pound or two pound or five pound or whatever I've, i have heard a story where a guy used to put his videos up for a hundred pound a time and people paid a hundred pound and go and watch them <laughs> he was making a hell of a lot of money out of it i don't know what channel it was but it was i don't think it's anything to do with the paranormal with some other channel yeah i think it's something to do with sports or something yeah I don't know. what i could what I could do, guys, end this live stream, start a new live stream with a Google Hangout and invite uh, whoever you want to invite on. We've got CVP Paranormal Science. Tell Ryan to get closer to his phone card here. How, how, how old is that? Hang on. I'm a bit worse from way back. Hang on, is it? Not that, no, not far back, sorry. <laughs> yeah, we've got the, the audio sorted out at the end. Oh, thank God, it was about 10, 10 minutes of it. Thank God. Can we go, no. Sorry, can you say that again, mate? I said, if you want, I can end this live stream, do a Google Hangout, start a new live stream and do a Google Hangout and invite right people if you want. Start afresh, yeah. If you're up for that, Steve. Yeah, give me about five, ten minutes on you go to the bathroom, yeah, drink, yeah. drink and feed the cat. And okay, yeah. 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 Another Hangout, just send me your link over and I'll pop on a little bit, yeah? Yeah, that's fine. Okay, yeah. okay. Then. Okay, okay, we'll end the live stream here. We'll do a start from a fresh. All right, okay, good night, everyone. Thanks for coming, tuning in tonight in the chat room and uh, with our with our show with um, Riley right. Riley from um, Water Mag Magnitude. If you, if you, if you, hopefully, we'll have him as a guest on uh, sometime in the not too distant future as well. So, thank you very much indeed. And uh, I'm going to end. I'm going to end this live stream. Right, so, yeah. thank you all again. Thank you. We're going to be. We're going to start another stream, but. It's going to be a fresh stream with me and Steve and Kieran on it. So you're quite welcome to join in that if you want.